Alrighty, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. My name is Muhammad Rafi Kirin Muhammad Razak with my metric number 212931. So now I'll be explaining to you about the example of Land's Law. So now starting straight away, consider consider a coil of wire placed near a solenoid in fi- in this figure. The wire is wrapped in such a way to as to create a south magnetic pole at the right end when the switch is closed like in this figure so choose left as the normal direction and when the switch is closed the current in the solenoid begins to increase and the magnetic flux through the coil is positive and increasing with time therefore the induced current in the coil must create negative magnetic flux to counteract the increasing positive flux created by the current in the solenoid so now <coughs> what does it require basically it requires an induced magnetic field directed to the right through the coil turning the right hand so the thumb is pointed downwards the right fingers can curl through the coil and to the right the induced current in the coil follows the direction of the right thumb which is clockwise as we from the left end of the coil when the switch is open again in this figure like in this figure the current in the solenoid changes direction because the magnetic field and positive flux begin to decrease moving counterclockwise the induced current creates positive flux through the coil opposing the decrease in positive flux so now in this example we can say that a changing flux causes an induced current and the associated induced magnetic field produces flux opposing the change in flux in accordance with land's law and when the flux stops changing the induced current stops so i think it's pretty clear what land's law means now and i think that will be all for me assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and thank you very much